Hi everyone, because I can't garden with you at Helinda Green, I'm gardening in my place because we're all learning from home and this is my garden, my veggie gardens at home. So I've gone to the shops and I've got a punnet of silver beet and I'm going to put these in and maybe you can have a go at home if you've got just a patch of ground, you don't need that much and have a go at putting these plants in. So for those in particularly in my class, you know that we've had the prepared soil and it's all ready to go with compost on it and nice dirt. So we've got some nice dirt. And then we're going to use a fork to make a spot for the plants to go. And I'm going to just tip them out here and separate them. So here we go, tipping them out, pulling them apart. You might like to wear your gloves. And I'm just going to put them roughly where I want them and put them in in a minute. Now up here in the Blue Mountains I have to be careful because the possums often eat my plants and so I've put some in but the possums have been chewing off all the leaves so tomorrow I might have to put a net over them so they don't come down here in the night time and eat all the plants but we'll do that tomorrow. So I've got all the plants separated, now I'm just going to get my fork, I'm going to put in a little hole, dig it down, and then I get the plant. Make sure he's still got his root ball attached, and put him in. And then I just put the soil around him like that. And you might remember that we need to put a little bed, like he's having a little sleep, just around the plant so that he's all ready to go and he gets a bit of protection. I'm moving on and repeating that, so I make another little hole. Check that I've got the roots there. Pop it in. And grab my little bit of sugar cane mulch and try and get the dog out of the garden because she's eating one of my plants. So she's just taken one of the beetroot that's already in there. And that's not very good. So I'm going to put her out of the garden. So now I've got to put the beetroot back in where it was before and hope it grows after it's been chewed by the dog. Okay, so here we go. Putting in number three. Number six. So once again, got a leftover tomato plant there that I don't really want at the moment. I'm going to give them all a little bit of their sugar cane. And then I'm going to go and get the hose to give them the water. So once you've got them all in and you've given them their nice little bit of mulch around them, you're going to give them a really good water because they need that when they've been taken from their punnet and put in the ground. You might even want to water the dog because she's been naughty, eating the beetroot. Okay. And that's your gardening for today. See you tomorrow when we put some netting over.